Hello. I uh, was appointed to direct the Tomb of the Cybermen, which was the second of the Doctor Who's which I'd done. And uh, this involved casting the Cyber Controller, who was the boss man of all the Cybermen. But I wanted to get an established actor for this part. So eventually I found that uh, Michael Kilgareth who is, uh, apart from being uh, six foot four tall, he's also an excellent actor with a very nice resonant voice. And he came along to see me and uh, I interviewed him and he hadn't seen any Doctor Whos before and he didn't know anything about Cybermen. So I had to explain that he was the boss. He was going to be the boss and I'd like him to play it. And he would be standing with his uh, boots blocked up as well, so he'd be even taller than he was normally. And then he'd have a great big silver helmet on top and he would be entirely encased in silver. And I said, I'd like you to play it. And he said, well, could I have a look at the dialogue? And I said, well, uh, not really, no, because you see, um, you don't actually speak it. Somebody else does. So he said, I, I, I don't have any lines. I said, well, no, not if you put it that way, but other people are saying it for you. So he said, I'm, I'm going to be entirely encased in silver, um, and I don't speak. And I said, well, your mouth moves. And he said, well, do you mind if I go away and think it over? And I tried to get somebody else, but uh, fortunately I didn't, because Michael rang up in three days' time and he said, I've thought it over, I'd like to do it. And he did. The other unfortunate thing I can remember about the Tomb of the Cybermen was uh, when one of the Cybermen had to be killed for the effect, visual effects, piped up this unfortunate Cyberman uh, with uh, buckets off the set, of course, uh, of goo. And he writhed very realistically about it and all this goo came out as well. I thought it was very good, but uh, I had my knuckles wrapped very severely afterwards because <laughs> they said it was much too explicit, much, much too explicit, and the children wouldn't like it at all. And Mary Whitehouse, I don't think, liked it either. I didn't agree with them, of course, because my children adored it. However, I'm quite proud of having done the Tomb of the Cybermen because, well, though I say it myself, I think it is known as being one of the all-time greats of Doctor Who.